Hey, I'm Brian Vance, SportBikeTracker.com, and today we're going to break down the CRG RC2 clutch perch install on our 2018 Suzuki GSX-R 1000R STG project bike. Okay, the CRG RC2 clutch perch. You know, this is a pretty track focused part. Could you put this on a super kick ass street bike if you want to? 100% you could. Ball bearing pivot. The adjuster, super smooth, large dial. You could actually do something with this on the track while riding if you really need to. You're gonna pick up Lever adjustment, you can adjust the distance from here to the bar. That's nice to have for sure. The way it attaches to the bar, and you see we have this plastic insert in here, this layer of plastic. You don't tighten this up so much that it can't move at all. You put it just on the edge where it's kind of tight enough that if you put a little pressure on it, it won't move. But if you have a crash, it can rotate up. It's kind of like a works motocross clutch perch concept okay so that itself is pretty bitching okay it can help out in a crash and if you see right here this is the part that attaches to the clutch cable if you install this it has three positions if you install it furthest from the rider per CRG it'll give you a little firmer clutch ball in the center it'll reduce that a little bit and if you come all the way towards the rider it can make the clutch pull just a little bit easier so you can kind of tune your clutch feel. If you can launch a race bike you're racing or street racing, whatever, and you want to dial in that clutch feel, this is something you can use to do that. And remember, those are finite adjustments. It's also recommended that you have a really good working cable when you do this. This bike is a 2018. I've got about 600 miles on it now. Cable's in great condition. It's lubed up. It's all good to go. If your bike is several seasons old and you know the cable's kind of iffy, Let's grab a new cable and put that on at the same time so you can get the most out of this part. One other thing that CRG did with this is they made it so it's compatible with, I'm going to say most, most clutch switches out there. I know it's going to work with the Suzuki. There are certain bikes now, you have to have your clutch switch on there for everything to work correctly, all the electronics that are on the bike. So this race clutch perch preserves that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's remove the OEM clutch perch. You know, this is going to be redundant for a lot of people. Odds are, if you're thinking about something that is really race focused like that RC2 clutch perch, odds are you know how to get your own clutch perch off. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just blaze through that real quick. We want to loosen up the adjuster all the way to make sure that you line up the slot in the adjuster wheel with the slot in the perch like so. We'll need to unplug our clutch cable switch. Okay, pull those off like so. I've played with this already a bit. Those were loosened up a little bit. On your bike, it's going to take a little more to release those. There's a little tang in there you got to push, so look for that. Once again, it's pretty basic stuff. What you could do is pull the bar off and look under it. You'll see that, okay, but you know, we're not going to get, you know, too granular here because like I said, if you're considering this, odds are you know how to do what I'm showing right now. I've loosened up the perch. I've got my bar loosened up. I'm going to go ahead and slip out my clip-on tube. Okay, we can let that hang. Let's see if I can get the... There we go. Get my clutch cable out like so. Now I need to remove the clutch switch. Pretty simple. Just a little Phillips there. You're going to reuse this screw from the factory. There is some Loctite on there. It's a whole hell of a lot tighter than what it just looked. As stated previously, I've already had this off. This is something I want to mock up before I did the video. You know, what we've learned over the years, then these real, you know, higher end race focused parts, you know, the installs, you know, not always super simple right out of the box. Okay, clutch switch. That tang slides in here. Let's rotate it around. There's your screw. 
if you know you have a bike where there is no necessity to reuse the clutch switch, feel free to omit it. But we're going to show it here during the install. Make sure that's snugged up, like so. Okay, before we go to install, a couple of things we want to do to make sure we can get it over. Got three torx bits here. Got a 30, 20, and an 8. The 8 is for the clutch cable anchor. I'm going to go ahead and remove that right now. You need to have the clutch cable anchor off of the perch during the installation. So I'm going to get the cable attached. Kind of see how that cable kind of dips in there. I want to make sure that the fasteners are loose enough here that. This is opened up, you can slide over the bar. Okay, that all looks cash money. Go ahead and slide that on. You want to make sure you keep the plastic insert in there. I'm going to go ahead and get the bar pushed back in, like so. Get my switches back to where they were. Just go ahead and snug this up now. Okay. You know, another good reason you know, to do this, one of the reasons I'm pursuing it on this bike is the way the OE clutch perch fits with some of the aftermarket clip-ons, you really kind of log jammed the uh, adjuster. Right, gets jammed into the clip-on cuff here, and it really limits the things you can do, how much you can move it in and out. So it's another motivation to change it for me. See, now I can slide it all the way out if I want to. That would be a little too far. Probably gonna end up more right around, right about there, looks good. I'm not gonna tighten anything right now. I'm just gonna get it snugged up. You can still move it around on the cuff, I'm sorry, on the bar. So we'll go ahead and snug these two. And with the main bolt on the back loose, see what I'm talking about, how it's able to rotate like that, so it's pretty cool. All right, go ahead and back that off all the way. Make sure the groove is lined up. You guys can see that. Grab the clutch cable. Slide it in like so. Get just a little bit of lubrication here. And put it inside here. Not a lot, just a little. I want to make sure we're going to be able to get maximum benefit from this. Okay, and that slides in the groove and around like so. Bring the lever over. Let's choose the one. I want to get a little more feel out of it. I want it to be a little bit firmer, so I'm going to try the one that's furthest away. Like so. Fastener in there. Snug that up. Okay, now the larger one back here. Just put a little tension on it. We'll focus more on that in a second. Okay, now let's get that clutch lever adjusted. See, I've got you know, a ton of slack in it right now. It's 
really important you have some play in that lever if you don't and you have the cable too tight especially on a bike with this much power even just a little bit too tight you get out there and you really start whooping on it the clutch is going to start slipping and once it starts to slip that's the end of it so if you want to err to any side what you want to do is you want to err to too much okay that way when the clutch is all the way out it's definitely not going to slip well i got to tell you that definitely feels a little firmer it's interesting we need to plug in the clutch switch once again this is really basic stuff okay want to make sure they're completely engaged all right feel that all good to go okay now let's talk about this that right there kind of rotate that around that's a little to the tight side i think so what you want to do is kind of experiment with this a little bit let's find where you want it in terms of lever position okay and i like that right there certainly need to adjust this thing a little bit more like so now that would be too loose obviously it's going to move around when you ride it now you want to be able to take advantage of one of the benefits this thing has to offer which is you know if you do fall down it can just kind of push up allow you to pick the bike back up and hopefully take right off well, maybe right about there and that's something you can play around with a little bit kind of get on the bike find that perfect position well it does feel really really smooth cool part lots of adjustability and it freed up some room here for me the way the OE one was you know that adjuster retainer the dial retainer just jammed up against the clip-on cuff here you know when you move your controls around on your bike you can run into some challenges that need to be addressed and you know this was certainly one for me here but now installing this on the motorcycle we picked up tremendous adjustability a little added crash bonus and we're able to even dial in the feel of the clutch to get it right to your liking you know even adjusting say the clutch if you're on the starting grid and you're like man I just wish it was a little bit right here you can just grab it and do that they're spring-loaded ball bearing in there so there's detents you can feel it nice and clearly this is a really cool part is it for everybody no probably not you know I mean this isn't so much of a street mod at the end of the day this is probably more of a track focused mod but the way CRG designed it allowing you to reuse that clutch switch you could in fact put this on your street bike no problem cool part I dig it the installation is going to look a little bit different on any bike that you have out there remember all the controls are different I've got these attack zero offset clip-ons on this bike that have brought the clip-ons back closer to the rider so this looks even a little bit different yet cool part I dig it if you're interested this video should really help you install it and determine if this is going to work on your bike or not I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com